Today's video, I'll be showing you how to check the amp drawage from your compressor. The panel from the side of your condensing unit, this is going to be covering your capacitor and your contactor. Now I have my disconnect pulled. The thermostat is on the cool and auto function on my thermostat. So right now I know everything's set inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our disconnect in. Now we're going to check for the wires coming in from our compressor. So I do know that this is one of our leads or terminals that's coming off my compressor to my contactor. Here is the other wire coming from my compressor to the contactor. And then I have one more which is going to be uh, my wire that's coming from the compressor to my capacitor on the arm terminal. To check the amperage, you are going to need a multimeter that has this clamp. Right now, we're going to clamp just one wire coming from my compressor to my contactor. We're going to plug in our disconnect. See here on my multimeter, I'm clamping one wire and I'm getting a reading of 14.5 in amperage reading check our other line to check the amperage and again we're only doing one wire at a time you don't want to do two wires or three wires because it'll cancel each other out so here we're getting a reading of 18.1 here we have our last lead which is connecting to the capacitor um, on the ERM terminal and you can see here I'm getting a reading of 9.0. The reason I'm getting half of the reading is because I'm connected to the capacitor, which is helping start up with the amperage. You wanna make sure you do one line at a time. So here, just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna connect our amp reading to both of our terminals coming off of our compressor. And you can see here, I'm not getting the proper reading one terminal at a time. The reason it's a good practice to check the amperage of the compressor is because number one, oftentimes when you have an older compressor and it over amps during startup, it will cause your breaker to trip. So that's one way to check to see if you're over amping uh, when the condenser or the compressor turns on. This is also a good method if you aren't sure if your compressor is running. If you don't have gauges, there's no way for you to determine if your compressor is running because if it doesn't have refrigerant, the compressor will sound like it's off. So what you want to do is you'll want to take your amp uh, clamp and you'll want to use your multimeter to check for amperage to see if you do have power going to your compressor. Here, we're going to check the amperage for our condenser fan motor. You can see I have my clamp wrapped around my brown wire, which is my fan motor, and I'm getting a reading of 0.5. Now keep in mind, your startup amperage is always going to be much higher. So right now I'll put the disconnect in and you'll see the amperage draw when the compressor starts is going to spike really high and then it's going to balance out and drop and equalize. This video was a help. If it was informational, please subscribe.